Hi guys, Dr. Brenda Slovin here from YourMigraineDoctor.com and it is officially summer. That's so exciting. Love summer. Summer is a great time to go out, enjoy the pool, and be outside, have barbecues, parties, friends over, you know, long days out in the sun. And for people who suffer headaches and migraines, none of these things sound appealing in the slightest. And that's really unfortunate because um, there are things that you can do to help yourself get through the summer. And that's actually the purpose of today's video, which are tips and tricks to help yourself avoid the summer headache. There are all different types of headaches. And of course, June is wedding season. It is time for everybody to go get married. So the stress of planning a vacation or a wedding or being part of um, a friend's wedding or so on could be extraordinarily stressful for you. Um, cluster headaches make up a smaller group of people, but they too um, seem to come on more in the summer. And because humidity is higher, the barometric pressure headaches uh, definitely make a difference because the temperature as well as the barometric pressure start to spike. So all of these things all together um, increase the amount of headaches that people typically endure during the summer. So again, um, heck, even ice cream, you can get an ice cream headache for a few minutes and that's not fair at all. Um, all these things, you can alleviate some of the stress associated with your headaches. You can alleviate some of your headaches um, by doing a few uh, simple things. And again, that's the purpose of today's video. So number one, um, beware of dehydration. Now, I know you've heard every doctor under the sun say this for years and years and years and years and years. Drink water, 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 water. Yeah, I'm going to say it again. Drink water. Um, dehydration can happen at any season. It can happen any time of year. It does not have to be summer, um, but summer is, it's just easier to become dehydrated if you're going to spend time outside, if you're going to be off your routine. Um, it's just easier to become dehydrated. So just be aware, carry your water bottle with you, make sure that you're drinking about half your body weight in ounces every single day, and that will help you if you're going to be outside more and doing more activity than absolutely um, take more water with you, drink more water. And if you hate water, my brother hates water, um, you can make it a water sangria. So you can put um, any citrus, limes, lemons, uh, strawberries, uh, oranges, slice them up and put them in the water, infuse the water with some um, wonderful flavors from uh, the fruit. But remember, it's water, not vitamin water, not um, uh, crystal light, not anything like that. Just water and make it a water sangria if that's uh, more palatable for you. And speaking of sangrias, the other next step is to be skip the alcohol. You have to be aware of alcohol. Alcohol really dehydrates you. It can make you very sick and it can absolutely exacerbate a headache or a migraine. So, sorry, but skip the alcohol. Have a, a water sangria instead. I realize it's not the same. Um, also, you want to be very respectful of the sun. I, it's easy to kind of get caught outdoors and not uh, really realize just how long you've been outside. If you're going to do errands, try to plan your day. Do your errands early in the morning or um, later in the evening so that you're not walking across a steaming hot parking lot at three o'clock in the afternoon. So errands, um, if you could do them online, even better. That's very helpful. Um, but whatever you can to be respectful of the sun and just prepare your schedule a little bit so that you're not getting caught in the middle of the day. That will also help you. You also need to be aware of some fragrances and products. Products have a tendency to be overpowering. So read the ingredients in everything. Some migrainers, some headache people get headaches, get migraines because their liver is just a little slow to process. You know that this is the case if smells really affect you. So um, even in sunscreens, just be aware of the fragrance and see if you can get fragrance free. They're usually um, quite readily available. Additionally, you don't want to stray too far from your routine. I mentioned this just a little bit before. It's easy in the summer to kind of fall off schedule, you know, to go somewhere to, you know, the, the sun is out for so much longer to enjoy yourself um, and just kind of get off your sleep schedule. But your schedule is really important and it helps regulate your hormones. So you must stay on schedule even when you feel like you want to go out and party. So um, 
it'll help your sleeping because sleep definitely gets affected in the summer too and you're not going to be able to sleep as well if it's real hot outside. So if you can keep it nice and cool in your house, that makes a big difference as well. And last um, but certainly not least, you don't want to skimp out on time for yourself. It's easy to start doing all these things in the summer, you know, take care of the whole house and, and want to do all these activities with your kids and go out and do, but you need your you time, my me time. It's very, very, very important. You know, we're so busy taking care, especially women, we're so busy taking care of all of our families, our friends and planning and doing that we usually put ourselves last. And it's really unfortunate because of that we get ourselves even sicker than we need to be. So always put yourself first, prioritize yourself, do those simple things. Remember dehydration, be aware, skip the alcohol, be respectful of the sun, try not to stray too far from your routine and absolutely take care of yourself. If you think that this video is helpful, please um, find more of my videos on YouTube um, on Dr. Sloven. Dot com. You can find me at yourmigraindoctor.com. Um, you can also um, uh, connect with me on Facebook or Twitter as well um, at Dr. Sloven. If you find this video useful, please tag a friend, share it with them, let them know that there's maybe something that we can do to help avoid the summer headache. Take good care and until my next video, we'll see you again. Bye-bye.